Okay, so this is my disposable camera taser. It's not your average disposable camera taser where you have to wait for it to charge and then it just delivers one shock and then you gotta recharge it. Um, those ones shock at a really high voltage because they fill up a capacitor first. But this one just delivers a steady stream of um, electricity at average like 250 volts with one battery well with 1.5 volts and with a 3 volt battery you'll get like 500 volts it hurts but not so much that your victim like will get really mad at you this is more of a like a prank taser um, I have two pieces of metal right here It's just in the tic tac container here's a momentary switch um, LED lights up when I press it uh, I'll open it up in a second. First I want to show you that it's really how much voltage it's putting out with a single triple A battery. I'm going to attach these alligator clips to these metal pieces. I shocked myself dozens of times with this. It doesn't hurt that bad. Like it's a good it's a good shock, but it's it's kind of fun actually. Um here I have my multimeter set to high voltage at maximum uh, 1000 volts. Um, Alright, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna turn it this way so you know I'm pressing it. I'm gonna press the button and here's the voltage reading 278. And this is not a new battery, so about, about 280 volts there. Um, it's, it's a pretty good, pretty good little toy. I'm going to open it up now just to show you how I set everything up. First of all, I just made a little cut in here for the switch, just a momentary switch. There's my modified circuit board. I cut that out of the digital camera, or the disposable camera. Here's my battery. As you can see, there's no capacitor in here. And then here's the switch. Um, you can charge a capacitor with this if you hook the capacitor up to here. The capacitor will charge at a pretty fast rate and it, and you can use that capacitor to shock people if you want a, a more powerful shock if you want to get punched in the face possibly yeah that's my little taser I got the um, the idea from, for it from another video on YouTube I forgot the name of the video and I forgot the username but I think I typed something in like transformer circuit or camera transformer circuit or something and there's a kid that that shows you how to do it thanks for watching